Hey guys, how you doing? Murph here bringing you another stream tutorial. This is going to be kind of a stream tutorial as well as a software review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the NVIDIA broadcast software. It's brand new software released obviously by NVIDIA just last week and it's got a suite of features that can help you enhance your stream. It's got a lot of cool microphone features, camera features, stuff like that. So um, the first thing you're going to do is you are going to download the software here. And I'll provide a link to this in the description down below. Once you download the software and you open it up, this is what you're going to be presented with. You're going to get um, three tabs here in the top, microphone, speakers, and camera. And this is really cool software because what it does is it gives you effects that you can apply to your microphone and your camera to kind of enhance the clarity of your voice and suppress background noise and stuff like that. So for example, this is my new headset and microphone that's become kind of my go-to headset for gaming at the moment. And I love this headset a lot. It's a wireless headset straight to my PC. It can also be connected via USB, but I always use it wirelessly. And I love everything about the headset except for one thing, and that's that there is no noise gate or background noise suppression built into the IQ software. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to enhance the sound quality of your stream. And in that video, I talk about how to add filters that are built into OBS and Streamlabs OBS to block out background noise as well as boost or tone down the overall volume of your microphone. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, I'll put a link in the description. I'll also try to remember to put a card at the top of the screen that you guys can click on to go see that video. And the cool thing about that video is it shows you how to apply those things in OBS so that you can block out background noise for your stream. The problem with that is, is it doesn't do anything for your Discord chat or your Xbox party chat through PC or any other kind of software or chat functions that you're using your headset or your dedicated microphone for. And that's kind of where these third-party applications come in and this is a really, really good option. Now, this is brand new software. They're probably, I would assume, they are going to add more effects for the microphone and speakers and camera. But for right now, the only one you have is noise removal. What I was saying before is this has kind of become my go-to gaming headset. And I love everything about the headset except for the fact that there's no noise gate or noise removal suppression, anything like that. So. I've used those filters in OBS to compensate so it doesn't bother my stream, but it still bothers people in my Xbox party chat when I'm playing through the party chat system on, or Discord for that matter, on PC. And the reason being is because I have an air conditioning unit that's just maybe 10 feet that way, and I have an overhead fan as well as a vent above me. So anytime my AC or heater is running, people in my... Um, stream can't hear it because of the filters that I've added, but the people in my chat systems can, and they always kind of bring it up, or, you know, if it's, you know, like a 1v1 situation in Call of Duty or something like that, I've been asked to mute my mic. So I have used this software to completely fix that issue. And the only thing you have to do is select your microphone source. In this case, it's going to be my headset. And then you're just going to turn on the effect. That is now going to apply noise removal to background noise and kind of isolate my voice. And you can adjust the strength here. I found that right about here is where I want it. You can make it a lot stronger to remove a lot of that background noise, although you may or may not notice a little bit of clipping of your own voice if you do put it up that high. I didn't experience that, but you could experience that if um, you've got a particular headset or microphone. So that's a really cool feature that you can use NVIDIA Broadcast for. It completely fixed my issue of people asking me to mute my mic or me having to go turn off my AC while I'm playing. Now, here's another scenario. We have a teammate that we play with, uh, usually about once a week, once every other week, something like that. And it seems like he's always got something going on in the background. Dogs barking, fans, people talking. He's always got a ton of people at his house. So this has been a really cool feature as well. This applies the same noise removal except this applies it to other people. P 
people who maybe don't use this software or people who are playing on console so they don't have these software options to remove background noise. You can come in here and you can select, in this case it would be again my virtuosos. I'm gonna leave it back down here. Uh, but you would select your, your audio source, the source that you're hearing your audio through, and then you would do the same thing. You would apply that noise removal and you can change the strength of that noise removal to remove the background noise of other people. And this also works very well. And it's also, I'm not gonna play this because it's kind of loud, but you can also play like test sounds of what it would sound like in the background and you can adjust this doing that. And then this is kind of, this is really the coolest part of the software in my opinion, is the camera function. And what this allows you to do is you're gonna select your camera source. In this case, it's my webcam that I use for streaming. And then you're going to select your effect. And the cool thing about this is, I will show you how to add this into OBS in a moment, but you can actually use this with other software as well. You can use it with Discord, you can use it with Zoom, you can use it through, I believe even Skype. You can use it through any of those software programs as long as you select this as your source. And what this allows you to do is add different effects to your webcam. So here I have just my normal, typical webcam. And I'm actually gonna move this off screen and pull this up so we can see a little bit better. I'm actually gonna maximize this as well. We'll pull this up full screen here. So this is um, background blur right here. And you can again, adjust the strength of the background. I'm already pretty well in focus here. So the background is already a little blurry to begin with, but you can see here as I increase this, it increases the amount of blurriness for lack of a better term in the background. And you can turn this all the way up to really isolate yourself, or you can turn it down to just kind of blur the background a little bit. I typically don't use this feature a lot, but if I do, I would leave it all the way up just because you can see even when I decrease the size of my screen here, it really isolates me in the foreground and just kind of makes me stand out a little bit better. And then another effect of this is uh, the auto frame. This is another really cool feature. So this feature right here is almost like having your own personal cameraman. So I'm going to leave my camera kind of small at the bottom here. You can adjust the zoom. So this is no zoom applied. But if you adjust the zoom, let's say I want it about right there. If I move, the camera is actually going to adjust and follow me a little bit. So if I lean over here, you can see the camera followed me and adjusted to me. If I lean over here, it'll follow me back. If I sit up in my chair, it'll kind of follow me up a little bit. If I'm sunk and slouching down, it'll follow me down here. And it's just a really cool feature. I use this one actually quite a bit uh, because it's just kind of cool knowing that no matter where I move, the camera is always going to have me centered and focused. And you can adjust the zoom as you see fit. Now, this is probably my favorite feature of all. Um, a lot of people spend a lot of money or a lot of time trying to figure out their green screen setups. I've seen people paint walls behind them, purchase green sheets, or um, I know Elgato sells like this portable, semi-portable green screen that you can pop up and fold down, which is actually a really cool option because you can store it away when you're not using it pretty easily. But a lot of those things are either expensive, time consuming. So this is a really good option because it has background removal and background replacement. Now there's been other software that have tried to do this. Logitech has one. I don't remember the names, but I've tried a couple others as well. Um, and none of them work very well. In fact, most of them are barely even functional. The, it messes up the background. It really starts to blur and edit out a lot of the foreground. It's really not good around the edges of chairs, body parts, hair, stuff like that. Um, Logitech probably has one of the better ones that I've used, but even Logitech's was so bad I just didn't even end up using it. But as you can see here, this one is really, really good. I'm going to turn on background removal. And there you go. It's basically like I now have a green screen. 
and I'm actually going to blow this up here so that you can see even at a pretty big size, which is going to show more detail, and therefore it's going to emphasize some of the faults of this software a little bit more. You can see a little bit around my headset, kind of a whitening effect. Uh, it's a little bit blurry. Here along my shoulder line, it's a little white and blurry. You can see there when I bring my hand down, it has a little bit of trouble there, just kind of picking everything up and distinguishing between the foreground and the background. But for the most part, it looks really, really good. And it looks far better than any other software that I've seen that's tried to emulate a background removal or green screen effect. And this is at full screen size. Most people are not going to be doing this. Most people are going to be shrinking this down and having some kind of gameplay or something in the background. And you can see here, the detail looks really, really good. It legitimately looks like I have a green screen. And it's not perfect as a green screen and a good camera would be. Um, you can see that especially during movement. If, uh, if I hold my hand up here, it does a really good job actually. There's a little bit of whitening in between the fingers, but it does a really good job at separating the background. But if I wave, you can see it doesn't do as good of a job with motion. If I'm shifting around in my chair, you can see, especially around the headset, you can see here my headset band just disappeared. So it's not perfect. Um, a green screen would do a lot better in that aspect. But for what you're getting from a free software, this is the best that I have seen yet. And it's very, very functional. And then just to close out at least the software portion, uh, you can also do background replacement. So here you can see I have like a concert going in the background. I just downloaded a few quick uh, things. I have like a throne here. And you can put any picture in the background as long as it's the right format. Um, I have like an Intel TAC, like a Tactical Operations Center, which is cool. Looks like I'm in the middle of like a TAC. I have kind of a military version of that that I downloaded. I have the Everything is Fine meme. And then of course, had a little fun with it. I got my casting couch over here. Somebody came in my chat yesterday while I was using this, said best background of 2020. I'd say I have to agree. And yeah, you can just add any kind of photo here and kind of make it your own. So really cool software. I definitely recommend it to anyone looking to kind of block out some of that background noise or do any kind of green screen effect or something like that. This is a really great option for you. So we've kind of gone over where to download the software, how to use it as well as what my thoughts are on the software itself. But real quick, let me show you how to actually implement this into your stream. So it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here to your mixer settings and under mic aux, which is where your mic is coming in, you're just gonna select properties. And instead of selecting um, your microphone, in this case, it would be my headset microphone, you're just gonna select NVIDIA broadcast. And when you do that, it's going to um, pull in your settings from NVIDIA Broadcast and use that as your primary mic now. And for your video settings, it's going to basically be the same thing. Let me close that out so it's blank here. You're just going to add a typical video capture source. And instead of selecting, in this case, it would be my C922. Instead of selecting your typical webcam that you're using to capture your face, you are going to select camera NVIDIA broadcast instead. And that's going to pull in whatever is happening over on your NVIDIA broadcast software. So now you can see here, I have my webcam and I can bring in any of these effects or anything like that from over here. And that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found this video useful or helpful at all, please hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see other content like this, such as stream tutorials, software reviews, gaming accessory reviews, anything like that. Also, as always, if you guys want to catch me live, I stream about six or seven nights a week, 9.30 Eastern, twitch.tv slash merfrags. I'll put that in the description down below as well. If you guys need any live help setting up your streams, you can catch me over there as long as I'm not in the middle of a match or something. 
I'd be more than happy to help you out setting up your streams or answering any questions you might have about my videos here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you found this video useful and YouTube, we will catch you later.